Hello, my name is Mikael Nordfors and I want to give you a little vision about how to organize the biggest medical rescue action in history by building a patient-centered, cost-effective and decentralized and democratic medical system in cooperation with Children's Health Defense and other non-governmental organizations and patient organizations. A gigantic medical experiment. In medical experiments, you do an in-depth medical entry examination of all participants with medical history, physical examination, answering questionnaires containing approved medical rating scales and taking relevant lab samples. The experiment staff performs planned follow-ups by taking new lab samples, new questionnaires at predetermined time intervals. All participants must participate voluntarily without pressure and receive information about possible side effects. A medical experiment must be stopped immediately if there are reports of death and serious side effects. None of this has happened in connection with the VAX injection for COVID-19 in the majority of cases. In January 22, there have been more than 4 billion people that has received the COVID-19 so-called vaccine or shots. Roughly 22,000 officially reported deaths in the US. And this is some COVID mathematics. About 22,000 dead in the United States from about 250 million who received the vax. That means worldwide about 4,400 million are vaxxed. That's about the US uh, amount times 18. That would mean 450,000 dead. And if you take this times 10 or 100 due to uh, underreporting that has been reported in many studies, we could guess that between 4.5 and 45 million are dead worldwide. And many more have been disabled with serious side effects. Reporting has been suppressed. There are many reports of doctors that have been threatened to lose job and license if they report side effects from the vaccine. The patients are not listened to and stigmatized. They might end up in psychiatry instead of getting real help. And uh, as we said before, probably less than 1% gets reported because this previous study is about 1 to 10% reporting to VAERS were before the COVID-19 era and then people were not punished for reporting side effects, but now they are, so it's probably less now. And all the late side effects has not appeared yet, like for example cancer, antibody dependent enhancement, autoimmune diseases, prion diseases, etc. There has been reports that the spike protein contains prion sequences and there have already been some cases of prion disease reported in vaccinated people. So, no help. There are no established treatments available because it's too short time to evaluate anything scientifically. There are hundreds of possibly good off-label alternative treatments, but no one knows which are the best for each type of patient and each type of injury. The patients are not listened to and get stigmatized when talking about wax damages, as we said before. And some patients cannot afford treatment. And if you're a doctor trying to help this patient, you can get, uh, you can risk your career too. So doctors are very afraid of dealing with this. So uh, this is my little solution. It's called Wax Tracker 2.0, and that means the development of the current Wax Tracker system. Wax Tracker is a questionnaire for reporting Wax side effects, and this already exists on Children's Health Defense and many other web pages. After reporting possible vaccine damages to Wax Tracker, the Wax victims can get advice on how to get healed if they want. They will then be connected to our patient website where patients can choose between different treatment protocols, give advice to each other and rate all the different treatment protocols and therapists through the Wax Tracker system. So we'll put some rating scales on the different symptoms that have been reported before and then report them with special time intervals like after one month, after two months, etc. And 
My idea is maybe it's the smartest thing to use a patient organization for this because it's very likely that all professionals participating in this will get hunted down and uh, uh, have problems as you said before. And patients advising each other that's not so risky. And uh, the different treatment protocols and therapies will be proposed by the patient and every treatment protocol and therapist will be evaluated with the help of Wax Tracker 2.0. And with this means we can quickly decide which treatments will work for a certain kind of patients with a certain kind of symptoms and we can help these people. All therapists and patients uh, working with this system can also contribute interesting research articles and experiences in patient cases to the database. Every article will be evaluated by using delegated voting and weighted pro and con arguments. That means for every article you can have a debate about how good it is between all the participants. And different treatment guidelines can also be posted, discussed and evaluated with delegated voting. These guidelines will also continuously be updated as to which treatment are the most effective through Wax Track Tracker 2.0. So we will always update the database with the most uh, recent results. And then I invented something long time ago called delegated voting, and that means we create a balance between layman and expert. By using delegated voting, participants can choose their own expert advisors that carry their vote rating when they do not have time or knowledge interest to make a balanced decision. When they vote directly, their vote, their vote will override their expert's vote in that particular issue, thus combining expertise with grassroots participation. That means also patients can delegate their vote in complicated medical matters, for example, where they don't really understand, then they can delegate to an expert interest. Public peer review will counteract the emperor's new clothes factor among experts, that has been clearly demonstrated during the so-called pandemic. Uh, and we will strive to translate all content so that we will have a summary for laymen, one summary for medical professionals and a full text article for researchers. And we have to do this yesterday. This is the biggest probably catastrophe in the history of medicine and it's already started. In order to save lives and suffering I suggest we develop Wax tra Tracker 2.0 create a medical database and find the best treatments by using public peer review. An embryo already exists on www.medicdebate.org. And we also should set up and educate a network of therapist physicians practicing cooperation on Waxtracker 2.0 all over the world. In order to do this, we need a team of experienced programmers, educators, medical experts and financiers. You are welcome to join us.